What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Booba Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, undefeated, unified, three belt, WBA, WBC, IBF, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, who is widely considered by many to be top two, if not number one, definitely top five pound for pound best fighters in the world, and Earl the Truth Spence Jr. Earl Spence Jr is 28 wins, no loss and no draw, 22 big wins by way of knockout, 33 years of age, 5 foot 9 and a half with a 72 inch arm reach. He's heading into the biggest fight of his career, the most anticipated fight in boxing in the last 40 years against undefeated three division world champion, former junior welterweight undisputed world champion, currently the reigning WBO. World Boxing Organization welterweight world champion superstar boxer who is widely considered by many to be the number one best pound for pound fighter in the world in Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Crawford is 39 wins, no losses, no draw, 30 big wins by way of knockout. He is 35 years of age, 5 foot 8 with a 74 inch arm reach. With that said, these two are scheduled to face off July 29th, Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena. And Errol Spence, he did an interview recently, and he said something that was very, very interesting. Errol Spence stated when asked about Terrence Crawford opening up as the favorite for their fight, Errol Spence, he stated that Terrence Crawford deserves to open up as the favorite for this fight. He stated that Terrence Crawford is arguably pound for pound the best fighter in the world and he would give him that uh he stated that he himself has a lot of question marks that people need answers to after suffering that horrific car accident just a few days a few weeks excuse me after unifying the belt against two-time welterweight world champion superstar boxer now retired future hall of famer and showtime sean porter that was September of 2019. Just a few days later, Errol Spence suffered a horrific car accident that saw him out the ring for 14 months. He was thrown from the car. The car flipped multiple times. And Errol Spence suffered many, many undisclosed injuries in that car accident. Only Errol Spence knows the injuries he sustained and the magnitude of them and mental in, um, injuries as well because it took a toll on him mentally as well. So Errol Spence, he stated that due to that major car accident, that horrific car accident he suffered, there was a lot of um, unanswered questions. Errol Spence, he came back. 14 months later, he took on two division world champion, Puerto Rican superstar boxer, Danny Swift Garcia, and he dominated Danny Garcia. But there were still question marks as Errol Spence's talent showcased that night against Danny Garcia, but he didn't look all the way himself. And then Errol Spence, he was pegged to face off against legendary eight division world champion, iconic Filipino superstar boxer, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao, August of 2021. So he faced Danny Garcia February 5th of 2020. Okay, 14 months later. Then he was scheduled to face off against Manny Pacquiao, August of 2021. But then once again, Errol Spence, he suffered a horrific eye injury, a broken or detached retina that saw him out the ring again, yet again, for another whole year. Okay. Then he came back April 16th, Arlington, Texas, AT&T, Dallas Cowboys Stadium, faced off against Cuban, now former WBA, welterweight world champion, star boxer, Yadanis Ugas. Yadanis Ugas, he filled in for Errol Spence August of 2021, and he took on Manny Pacquiao, and he dominated Manny Pacquiao and won the WBA title officially. So Errol Spence, he fought uh, Yadanis Ugas in a unification bout. He broke Yadanis Ugas' ribs, nose, and orbital bone. But there were two telling signs in the two fights Errol Spence had since suffering that horrific car accident, which was that he got caught by Ugas and his mouthpiece came out and he focused on it 
and he also got caught by Danny Garcia and his mouth came up, mouthpiece came out and he focused on it to which Errol Spence, he did an interview and he stated that he has been very, very conscious of his mouth and his teeth because in the car accident, he suffered a lot of oral, oral uh, damage and had to have his teeth replaced and his mouthpiece never uh, got adjusted. So he every time his mouth, mouthpiece was knocked out against Ugas and Danny Garcia, he admitted that he thought his teeth was actually knocked out. So he stated that, you know, there's a lot of question marks surrounding himself and what can he possibly do? Again, the last time we saw Errol Spence in the ring was again April 16th of 2022. He has been out the ring again for yet again another year. Now this fight is going to take place July of 2029 or 2023. So once again, Errol Spence has been out the ring for another calendar year, for over another calendar year. And he's going in against a guy who stopped and knocked out 10 to 12, 10 to 11 of his last 12 opponents. So, uh, and Terrence Croft is very versatile. He's undefeated, has power in both hands. So Errol Spence, he stated that he understands why Terrence Crawford is indeed the favorite to win this fight. And he gives him credit for being arguably the pound for pound number one fighter in the world. And he stated that once I beat Terrence Crawford, that's good because now I get to absorb all his accolades. I get to get full credit for beating Terrence Crawford, uh, who is considered the best fighter in the world. And this makes me no doubt the pound for pound number one fight in the world once I beat Terrence Crawford. So uh, Errol Spence has a point. And since 2019, we only saw Errol Spence in the ring twice against Danny Garcia and against Yadanis Ugas. Now, Terrence Crawford has not been the most active guy in his career either. He fought once in 2020, once in t- against Kell Brook, once in 2021 against Sean Porter, once in 2022 against David Avenesian. So he has only fought three times. Now he's been more active than Errol Spence and he hasn't suffered the injuries and the, the trauma that Errol Spence has suffered. But Terrence Crawford is not the most active fighter either. And Terrence Crawford is actually two years older than Errol Spence. So Father Time is also undefeated as well. So we have to see how this unfolds and plays out. But um, this is, to me, the biggest fight in the last 40 years. Again, I know people will say that Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather, which lucrative is the biggest fight in boxing history as they fought and had a pay-per-view record-breaking number of 4.6 million pay-per-view buys. They also had uh, brought in $500 million in revenue. So as far as grossing, yes, as far as uh, fam- uh, familiarity and entertainment and just being the biggest fight known to the sport of boxing, yes, Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather. But as far as the competitive nature within the squared circle, it didn't live up to the hype. This is indeed two top five pound for pound best fighters in the world who are both undefeated, have chips on their shoulder, and have a goal to be an undisputed, the first four major sanction belt, undisputed welterweight world champion, never been done. You have to factor in that Floyd Mayweather faced Manny Pacquiao, who had already been knocked out three times, multiple draws and multiple losses on his resume. In this case, you're talking about two undefeated guys in the prime, the absolute prime of their career. So with that said, you know, uh, I believe that this fight will 1,000% live up to the billing. I think that this is a can't-miss mega fight. I think that it's going to live up the action pack, and I think that you're going to get the absolute best version of Terrence Crawford and the absolute best version of uh, Errol Spence Jr., and I can't wait to see how this unfolds and plays out. But um, let me know what y'all think. Do you think that Terrence Crawford should be the favorite? He's just a slight favorite. It's not like he's a major favorite over Errol Spence. Let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment in the comment section. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, 
hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notification. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all in one word. So all I got for y'all is your boy Blue signing off. I'm gone. Peace. This is Amanda the Real Deal Serrano, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV.